Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noraniza binti Sarbani and I am from Jabatan Kejuruteraan Elektrik Politeknik Sultan Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah. And I will present an innovation project titled Open Loop and Closed Loop System Trainer. Next is background study. An open loop system, also referred to as an anon feedback system, is a type of continuous control system in which the output has no influence or effect on the control action of the input signal. A closed loop control system, also known as a feedback control system, is a system which uses the concept of an open loop system as its forward path but has one or more feedback loops or paths between its output and its input. The purpose of this project is to help all students involved in the control system topics to facilitate their understanding of the concept of open loop and closed loop. In addition, this project will also help teachers teach this topic. In addition, the project will also help them identify whether the machine is using an open loop system or closed loop system. Finally, it can also provide students with insights to help students use both systems in, in future year end projects. For the problem statement, the purpose of this project is to help students involved in the control system topics to facilitate their understanding of the concept of open loop and closed loop. Sometimes students didn't get the impression and didn't understand about open loop and closed loop system. The students cannot understand about the lecturer and it will make them to misunderstand what their lecturer teach. Besides that, the student cannot make a comparison the type of control system between open loop system and closed system because students did not know how to distinguish the open loop and the closed loop system and confused about what the machine is using. So the objective of this project is first to design a circuit that works and is suitable for the learning system and can serve as a trainer. Second, to implement a machine that can help students understand the control system concept. And third is to develop a machine that can serve as a learning aid that facilitates the learning system. Scope project. This project focuses on simplifying the learning system. The emphasis is on helping students improve their skills in the open and closed loop system concept. In addition, it also makes it easy for lecturers to teach. And for the limitation, this project is only suitable for lecturers to teach students the concepts of open loop and closed loop. The significance of study. First is to help students understand what the loops and the loops are. Second is to help simplify the teaching and learning process. And third is to enhance student skills in using the system. Next is methodology. In order to realize this project as a product that ready to use with safety characteristic, a very comprehensive plan is undertaking. A step-by-step -step procedure is done so that the project can be completed in time. This including collecting data of sample children finger, design the mechanical part, circuit design, testing and verification. The main controller is using Arduino. The design of the controller circuit using Arduino realizes using Proteus software to make sure it runs the circuit as we desired. The software that is used in this project is Proteus 8 software. This software is being used to simulate the circuit of our project to make sure the circuit is successfully work and can be run in this software. The other one is Arduino software. The application is being used as a platform to give command. So this is the block diagram of this project, including open loop system and closed loop system. So this is the 
chemical schematic diagram. Closed loop systems are designed to automatically achieve and maintain the desired output condition by comparing it with the actual condition between the output and the reference input. Open loop and closed loop trainer is a cheaper trainer with an estimated lesser cost which contributes directly to cost saving. The compact structure with the label printed on the casing with several outputs makes it easier for students to identify certain parts more easily. The trainer was designed in small sizes, is user-friendly and saves storage space. The trainer also will save the lecturer and students time in understanding the basic concepts of open loop. This is result from the survey including lecturers and students' responses. There are several questions. Before they use the trainer and after they use the trainer. So this is the gun chart for this project. Finally, for the conclusion, we can conclude that this project is useful, especially for students and lecturers. This project helps students to understand what the open loops and the closed loops are. Next, this project can also help students to enhance their skills in using this system. The time of learning on this topic can also be reduced by using this project. Therefore, this project helps to simplify the teaching and learning process. That's all. Thank you for listening.